Emma. Good news, I found the perfect website for our project about depression. It's got tons of great information we can use. Hey Lynn, that's great. I found some stuff too. We only need two more websites and we've got enough to start writing. Let's see what you got. It was actually kind of easy. I used Google. And well, I remembered that .edu sites are usually really credible and really reliable because they come from colleges and universities. So I actually put .edu right into my search. I got this site. She looks totally depressed. I know, but I was really happy because, look, it starts out with a really good definition of clinical depression, and then over here are more links that lead to information like about symptoms, treatment, causes, all the stuff we need. Hmm, so who put this up? I mean, what university is this from? Yeah, um, well, oh. Len, I know you were up really late with this stuff, but this site is called depression-edu.com. It probably isn't from any school. And look, there's no way to even tell where the information comes from. They never say who they are, they never cite their facts or the basis for their claims. They don't even put a date on their pages. Also, they have a pretty clear bias against Big Pharma. They make unsupported claims about antidepressants not being well tested. And look at all these ads for natural remedies. Whoa, whoa, whoa! But some of this information sounds true to me. I mean, I think I've read about it in other places. Well, maybe, but you're going to need to find sites that substantiate these ideas in a more credible way if we're going to cite this for our project. Yeah, okay. So, what did you find? Well, I started at Google, too. I typed depression, and the first site that came up looked pretty relevant. It was called depression.com, so it was all about our topic. It was also really current, had an update date of 2009. Of course, I remember that since it was a .com, it was probably a commercial site. So I checked who was sponsoring the site, and it turned out to be a big pharmaceutical company. Under medications, they only talk about their own products. They may have good information here, but given the site's purpose to sell their product and obvious bias in favor of their own treatment options, I decided to move on. I didn't have to go very far before I found this. It's a .gov site, so when I looked at it, I went right to the bottom of the page to see who exactly sponsored it. It's from the National Institute of Mental Health, which is part of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I don't have to guess or click around too much. They tell me right up front so I can make some immediate assumptions about this site's authority and purpose. They're a research institution existing to inform, not to sell me something. The page was really recently reviewed, so I'm not worried about currency. Hey, and you know, this page also has a long list of citations, so we can verify any of the information here that might seem complex or controversial. In fact, I might use some of this to try to find a good article on alternative treatments. That could save some time. Awesome. Let's go grab a hot cup of joe.